Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am out in the woods looking for some mine adits. There's supposed to be a good handful in this area and I gotta hike up to them through all these woods. And let's see what we can find today. So from what I could tell on the maps, there's about five or six of these adits. They're about halfway up, about half a mile up the mountain. And once I get to a certain point, it should open up into rock and there should be hardly any trees, maybe less trees. <sighs> Geology wise, the main rock we're dealing with is metasedimentary rock, so sedimentary rock that's been lightly metamorphosed. We also have some intrusives as well, mainly uh, diorite dikes and sills. And I believe further west, we have some granodiorite, which I don't know if we'll be encountering that. There are also some mafix sills in the area that are pretty old and of course fault lines so we have some normal faults in the area and on the geologic map they even mapped some veins that is probably why the adits are here so just found this nice road but i think it's taken me away from where i need to be going which is up right now I am walking on all this rock, which is, I believe, left over from the glacial activity that was here, the big glacier ice sheet. I've already found one rock that had, uh, it was quartz, and it had little tiny bits of crystals on it. I just found this rock. It looks like a chunk of asphalt. I don't think it is, though, because right there, that red, that's a garnet. So we got garnet really deteriorating rock whatever this is covered in moss it's pretty cool but yeah garnet right there this might be a really deteriorated uh amphibolite or maybe one of those mafic rocks but it'll just stay here for now all right well i should be about halfway there or over halfway and it's going through some really thick branches and shrubbery, so I'm glad it's opening back up. I'm sure, it's getting steeper, and it's pretty warm out. Pretty warm, cloudy spring day. As I've been walking, I've been spotting more quartz. Some of it's just pretty pale white. Some of it's a red purple from oxidation. So hopefully, we get up here soon. Let's see what's going on. Up there through the trees, I think I see the first one. There's another one, according to map over here. And then there's one even further straight up for me. So I'm gonna work my way over to that one since I can see it. There's a creek. Might be easier for me to cut across it down this way than going up through all those branches. Whew. Pretty out here. All right, I just made it up on this road. I am out of shape. It's quite the hike to get up here. But I found one of their little roads, I believe, and some evidence of mining activity. Big old cable in the ground for loop for whatever reason. Another cable, and then this uh, whatever this tube's for, and then the cap. The path goes on down that way. But I think there's an adit, or supposed to be one, up there further. I'm not sure if I should walk along the paths or keep hiking up that. <laughs> Maybe I'll hike this way. It looks promising. So I'm going to keep on going down this path. It's starting to spit rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain hard, but we've got three cables here. I didn't see this one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the cables are for. Maybe an anchor point. I know they used cables for logging back in the day. I mean, they still do, but what makes me think it's related to the mines is because I know there's adits nearby, and then we have this random tube in the ground here. I'm not sure what that would all be for. Maybe one of you in the comments have an idea of what this could be. But, continuing this way. Well, looks like the path just stretches on downward for a while, so I think I'm going to cut up this to get where I need to be. All that loose rock, this should be fun. 
All right, I believe we found one of the first adits. Right up in there, we got this massive tailing pile from them digging. Let's go carefully check it out. I'm always worried as I approach one of these things, an angry bear or a mountain lion's gonna poke his head out. Wish me not well. Got some quartz here. Get an idea of what they're digging out. Doesn't look too great. Up the tailing pile. There it is. Yum. It looks pretty slimy in there. I'm gonna cautiously take a closer look. It doesn't look like there's any signs of life, but you never know. Hello? <laughs> Woo! Man, I can hear it echoing already. And it's flooded, I can see that. ways definitely flooded I don't think I'll be going in this one I don't have my water boots so pretty cool though I'm kind of underneath a big rock here that looks like it could uh, come down so I'm gonna step back just a little bit that's pretty cool though what's interesting is this added um, I don't think it's on the map because I should have a couple hundred more feet to go before I get to the first one. And this one popped up, so there's probably more edits that are not showing up. Pretty cool though. I would love to explore it, but not get my feet wet today. <laughs> it's always cool finding that stuff, but not going in it. It's pretty flooded and I'd rather go in it with someone with me. Based off the massive tailing pile here, I'd say it probably goes back maybe about two, 300 feet, maybe. But up there should be the one I was actually heading for, so let's get up there. The rain is starting to come down slightly heavier, but it's still just a sprinkle. Sure is pretty up here. <sighs> should be getting close. At least I'm out of the tree somewhat. It's still a lot of, a lot of uphill. Mine should hopefully just be over this rock. Well, just over that rock turned into over just over that rock and so on, but there's the tailing pile. So close. I think this is the most difficult mine um, adventure I've done. Huh. Ooh, snake. Just went underneath that rock. I'll leave, I'll leave him alone. <sighs> Pretty decent sized tailing pile, it seems. All right, guys, this is a promising sign. Look at that. That's minecart rail track right there. Piece of rail. That's pretty cool. Hopefully the mine isn't gutted out though and collapsed in. Or it's just an old piece of rail they threw out. All right, guys, we're almost there. This tailing pile is huge, which means it must be a big tunnel. We got lots of quartz, too. It's looking good. I mean, as far as adventuring, it looks good. The quartz itself, I mean, looks don't mean anything when it comes to the ore. Obviously, this must have not have been very rich because the mines didn't last long. I'm not really seeing any pyrites or anything. But let's, let's go on to the top. <laughs> Oh, we're at the top. Super oxidized here at the top of the pile. Looks like it's got a bat cage on it, unfortunately. Broken cast iron wheel. That's pretty cool. Some more rail track. Oh, 
Well, that's a little disappointing. Probably a good thing that, uh, you know, it's blocked. Looks like someone cut into it though. And uh, it's definitely flooded. Again, another flooded mine. While snooping around the ground, got an idea why this might be barred off besides it just being a mine. Some really old signs, unsafe ladders, unstable explosives and deep pools of water. Yeah. Mine shafts, so there's probably vertical shafts and stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, pretty big mine, obviously. There's more adits up above, I know. Pretty cool. Got some pipe, or just, actually, it's just a solid metal here. Not sure what all that's for. There's probably more stuff buried. Oh yeah, there's the mine track. Bet there's mine carts in there maybe. That'd be pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna continue up to see if I can get to the other edit before the day's over. It's a pretty heavy wheel. Look at some of the rock here. A lot of quartz, of course. piece of metal there. What is that? Huh. Something that's all resting the pieces. And then our mine rail. Lots of miscellaneous bolts and nuts. They're all resting the pieces. Ooh. What do we have here? Sheet metal, maybe that was the side of a cart. I don't know. But the next at it should be up there a little ways. Since it stopped raining, I'm gonna use my drone. I'm gonna fly around the mountain, see what I can see, so that way I don't have to walk everywhere, get an idea of where things are at. Let's check out the area, so let's do that. Well, I was flying the drone, but as soon as I started flying it, it started pouring rain, so I had to make it retreat back to home and land it, get it put away. Yeah, heading to the next at it should be just up here, and then there should be a second one that's about level with the first one I found. Maybe the one up top connects to all these. Maybe they're all intertwined. That's what the signs made it say with unstable ladders, dangerous shafts, and water pools, deep water. Walking up another big tailing pile. This is the highest at it. I didn't know it was going to be this far up of a hike. I only got maybe three hours of daylight left before two hours of daylight left before it starts getting dark. So I gotta hurry it up. There's some quartz there with a little partial crystal pocket things on it. But we're almost to the top of this one. So let me get up there. Well, here I am at the top of this tailing pile. Whew. And I don't see an adit. I might be standing on top of it actually. Let's walk over this way, because this is also a little tailing pile. Maybe the adit's right here also buried <clears throat> collapsed pretty oxidized rock little pocket this must be the attic like they purposely caved it in. Or maybe this happened naturally. Oh no, there it is. It's flooded, I think. I pushed one of the rocks out of the way. Oh yeah, she's flooded. Deep. Goes back away too. Well, 
won't be going in this one. Wonder how far back it goes. Huh. Yeah, all those tailings came out of that little hole. I think uh, I'm at the highest added, I suppose. I believe further up there's a dugout trench, but I'm not going any higher. <laughs> Uh, on my way down, there's another adit over here I'm going to hopefully find. And then after that, I'll probably call it the day and head all the way back down to my car at the bottom of this valley. But now that it stopped raining, I might fly the drone. Another attempt to fly the drone. And we'll see what's out there and uh, get some cool shots and maybe see the adit down there. <laughs> and it gives me a chance to rest. It was quite the hike going up all these tailings and all the shrubs down there. On my way down, I'm going that way where it's rocky and somewhat stable looking. So I decided not to do the drone because I didn't realize the time I need to start heading back, waste, stop wasting time. And I said I wasn't gonna go any higher, but I looked at the map and there was an adit just, just up the hill. So I left my gear down below and made it up to it. And here it is. And it's flooded like all the way, but you can see that quartz vein they were mining right there. There you can see that oxidized quartz vein they're mining. And a skull. And bones. All right, enough messing around. I gotta head all the way down. Heading on down. That other adit should be down below us. Right over here is the one I was at earlier with the cage on it, I believe, right over there. You can see the red mound. So there's the big one that was blocked off we were at earlier. Coming across the valley, we have the other one right down there. Just a little bit of a walk down to it. And then after that, I believe I will be done for the day. It's enough fun mines for me, but you can see the red right down there, the tail ends. Make my, my, uh, gonna work where my, oh my gosh, can't talk, I'm tired. <laughs> gonna work my way down to this, so until I get down there. All right, well, here we are. There's a sign here that's really deteriorated, but looks like there's falling hazards and some other stuff, so. I'm just inside the entrance here. And uh, of course, I do not encourage anyone to go into abandoned mines. As the saying goes, stay out, stay alive. So just have common sense and definitely be aware. And I'm going to be looking at the ground. And this is why, besides the nesting material, I've already ventured in here. It doesn't go back very far. However, it does go down. And down does it go. <laughs> if we look up. It also goes up. I would like to go over there, but I don't want to fall into the water here. And you can see there's all this roots and nesting stuff. It's kind of floating out, so I don't know how secure all this is. I can't even see the bottom. It just disappears into the abyss. Pretty wild. I think there's another adit nearby, so I'm gonna go check that one out next. And back outside here. Pretty tall, pretty tiny little mine. All right, I think our next adit's just right over here, actually, and then uh, that should be it for the day. All right, well, there's, so I just came out of this adit, and I believe this is one here. Because I'm standing on top of tailing piles. Looks like it's pretty collapsed. Let's take a look though at the top. Because like the other one I looked at, the top was exposed. This looks like our intrusive rock here, our diorite. And nothing at the top. But we do have our quartz vein. Let's check that out. Yep, that's, uh, that's quartz. <laughs> Nothing too special looking. Definitely has some like little cavities where you might have some crystals maybe. 
Right, so looking at the material here, of course, lots of oxidized quartz, but then we have this really oxidized material here that's actually got a bit of weight density to it. Not sure what this used to be. Obviously, some kind of sulfide, perhaps. But it definitely has some heft. Then we have this big one here. Get that welder off of it. Man, yeah, it's definitely got some weight. Definitely oxidizing whatever it is. Pretty heavy stuff. I can't remember exactly what kind of mine this was, what they were what they were looking for. I want to say silver, lead, and zinc, but there might have been gold. I'll have to double check. I'll also post some information on the date of these mines and what kind they are if I find it in the description. So if you're curious, check in the description for that. So I just broke open that one oxidized rock, and sure enough, it's definitely a sulfide. Either pyrite or gleaner or mix. Might have to collect some of this now. <laughs> well, I'll see what I'll do. Just throw this whole thing in there and call it good. <clears throat> See if there's anything else I want to throw in there. Some deformed crystals on that quartz. Here we got a big old hunk of quartz with the oxidized sulfides in it. Some more. I'm not sure what kind of mine this is, but like I said, I'll uh, put the information in the description once I find it. But I believe this will conclude it for today. Well, I'm gonna have to call it a day. There's still more mines around, but it's getting dark and I gotta head home and I still gotta hike down the mountain. And uh, the ticks are out in full force. I probably pulled more than a dozen off me and I still keep finding them. So I need to get home and get myself cleaned up because I don't want any ticks feeding on me. And there are those red ones too. I'm pretty sure those are deer ticks, which carry the diseases most of the time. So I got my sample of sulfides, which I didn't need to carry down the mountain, and I'm gonna start on heading back. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope I can make more soon, and maybe one of these days we'll get back and maybe explore these mines. Probably not, but until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care.